welcome back to Open. I'm your host, Darren Jaime. Fordham University recently honored Bronx Works for its achievements in partnership with the university in encouraging students to participate in community service projects. Bronx Works Center for Achieving Future Education Program Coordinator John Pierre LaCour accepted a plaque and is here to tell us more. First of all, congratulations on the accomplishment. Thank you so much. And uh, it's a power of partnership. Yes, it is. And so uh, give us a little bit about the power of partnership. We have been partnering with Fordham University roughly about 10 years now. Mm -hmm. um, every year we participate in different aspects of uh, community service and out outreach. One of the big campaigns that Fordham pr provides for the youth on campus is to get involved in civic organizations in the community. Uh, Bronx Works has been that partner for 10 years and we have been able to partner in a multitude of things that we've done from the homeless outreach to the urban plunge where the students go out connect with the organizations and want to work in those organizations while there are students on campus. And also the other part that Fordham has been a partner with us was the College Access Program. We have been working with the Fordham University Dorothy Day Center for Service and Justice um, for over nine years now in our College Access relationship, which has allowed young students that we reach out to, to get to go to college there and work with learning how to go to college, how to work with their mentors on campus, how to kind of conduct activities. And for, for that relationship, um, Fordham recognized us as our community partner award. Mm. And so as you had this community partnership, uh, you've spent time with Fordham University. Talk about the interaction and, 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 and what the program actually, how, you know, how it really worked out. Well, again, we work with a lot of those students that are on campus, most of which come from uh, the first year, freshman year to senior year. Most of those students who serve as mentors are connected to us yearly. Mm -hmm. So based on how many students that we are able to recruit every year or usually monthly when we go on campus, we do usually weekend activities. And through that relationship, through the college access piece, we've been able to connect at least over 200 students a year to the relationship of going on campus, meeting with mentors, and having their students on there relate to our students to help them understand about going to college. Mm -hmm. um, in conjunction to other service programs, we've run community centers where many of their students also go and work as youth workers in the, in the centers. Um, so it's been a good partnership with us in a, way, a real, in a way for us to broaden our relationship in the community with them. A lot of people talk about mentorship. Seems to be yeah. the buzzword mm -hmm. uh, that's going on over the last five years or so, really putting heavy emphasis on mentorship. Your boots to the ground. So give us a little bit about this. How effective do you feel mentorship is, particularly in inner city communities? With the population that we serve and the students that we reach out to and many of the high schools that we work with, a lot of our young students, as we've heard today, um, we don't have a lot of role models. And unfortunately, a lot of our students don't have that access to understanding how their role can be when they go to college or what the relationship of going to college. That mentorship um, broadens the students' abilities to see themselves and provisionally see themselves as college students. And then it also allows those students to identify with other individuals within their own age group to understand how they can grow as individuals. And that, that's a huge impact to the services that we provide at College Center and what Fordham provides as far as the community service relationship. Mm -hmm. How important is it in terms of giving back to the community? It's huge. I mean, one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is that when you provide service to people in the community, when you give back, it helps to identify who your character is. And also, that's huge in the kind of community that we work with. Here in the Bronx, we really need that kind of mentorship in a way that grows and builds character. And I think giving back allows the students that have participated with us from Fordham to see where they want to go in their lives. And I think that impacts their understanding of where their careers basically will lend them as they get older. Mm -hmm. So it's very huge in the relationship that we have. And as you look forward to the future, what are some of the future goals? With the college program, the yeah. future goals is continue the partnerships. We want to broaden our, our, our mentorship. We want to broaden the relationships with all the higher educational institutions. But Fordham has been our great partner for, for over 10 years, and we want to continue growing that experience. We want to continue growing our activities on campus. We want to continue growing uh, services that Fordham provides our agency and also the, the community. But if we can be the stewards to that relationship, we would love that. Jean-Pierre, give us a little bit about the uh, cafe because uh, there's, there's a lot that goes on there. Yes, the, the cafe program is really a college-based program. We're a college counseling center. 
Our program provides a lot of young students who don't have the access from their schools or from their experiences to go to college. We also provide a full-based college program where you have mentors and we have advisors who will help students and families on the whole access to college. And that's huge in what we do because we work with over five or six high schools a year and we go out in the community and we knock on doors to provide these kind of services so that families or students who don't have the knowledge or don't have the information, CAFE provides that. And so if people want to be a part of the program, how do they do that? You can contact BronxWorks.org and you can link into our Children and Youth Services and find CAFE. Or you can contact me at, at BronxWorks.org, Jean-Pierre LaCour at BronxWorks.org, and we can definitely get back to you. As an organization, obviously, it's a good, it's a good feeling. Real quick before we mm -hmm. wrap up, but, but for you personally, what's the feeling like? For me, it's very, very um, empowering because the commitment to working with young people is to give them all the services they need. When most of our young people come into our doors, a lot of them have never had access. A lot of them have never been exposed to these opportunities that, that are out there for them. And opening doors, and we want to make sure students see the world well outside of the community that they live in. So we want to provide that. So for me, it's very empowering for young people to re get rewards from this experience. You've been working with him for a while, John Pierre Lacour. Thank you so much. Thank for you coming so much. To Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All righty, all righty. Got to take a short break and uh, be back with more open when we return in a second.